What's up guys, it's Ant, and today I'm going to show you how to do a t-shirt mock-up. Uh, you know how you see those uh, t-shirts with uh, prints all around them? Well, I'm going to show you how to do a mock-up like that today. So, let's just jump right into it. So, I have all of my documents already open, but here's three that you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need your characters or whatever that you drew. Uh, and then you're going to need a place to edit that because we are going to place them in a certain, uh, like pattern. And you're also going to need the t-shirt. Um, now before we get into this, one thing you want to make sure on the document that you put the place, the t-shirt on, uh, make sure that you have it 4,500 by 5,100 pixels okay because the bigger the size the better and make it at least um, um, 300 ppi and you also want it in cmyk alrighty now we have some characters here now what I like to do is get everything laid out first so I have these characters and I was thinking about how many of them I should use but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use all of them um, first things first let's pull these guys over here We'll just uh, matter of fact, we can just duplicate the group here. Just right click on that. Duplicate group. Go down here to where it says destination, the document. And we'll go ahead and press. Um, it would be on characters edit. And then we'll hit OK. And it should be over there for us. So we're done with this, this part right here. So now the only thing we have to do is go over here to our second line here move this down all right so those look pretty good now for this video I'm trying to decide on whether or not I should make all of these um, like a, a smart object but I'm thinking for the video because I I mean, I have them, but, you know, just for, um, you know, how people always tell you when you open certain programs, save, save, save. So, but I already have these saved, so it'd be fine just for the video. That's just one thing to pay attention to. If you're just starting out and you're new, man, do me and yourself a favor and save, save, save. And the reason why I say convert to um, a smart object is because what it does is it makes your um content non-destructible so basically if you were to take this guy right here and you made him bigger and then you made him smaller without doing any type of um, smart objects it's just going to get pixely and pixely and before you know it it's just going to be unusable so get used to that habit now i'm not going to do that today because i already have um probably 40 copies of these guys here so I made my copies have copies and that's really <laughs> that's really how it's supposed to be so without further ado let's jump into it now I'm trying to decide on whether or not I should just make them smaller I think I will let me just do this and I'll just grab all of them and make them smaller about like so would work I think that'd be fine now this is only at 16% let's see what it looks like if we were to make it to 100% that's not bad that's not bad okay I was just uh, I don't want to be too small but we'll make something out of it all right, we'll start right here and just we're just going to randomly place them guys and of course we are going to need some copies so these guys are going to get copies of course So 
so they copy all of them at the same time let me lock this okay it's locked good so to copy everything grab all these at the same time select them and then hit alt click and drag and then you have some copies there Mm, probably like so we're going to do another <laughs> form of copies do it again mm, we'll deal with placement let's see and you only thing you have to do at this point is just get creative where do you want them at? Yeah, just make fun. Have it. Just make fun. Make it fun. All right. We're not concerned about things being over the edges because since it's an all over print, it would be just fine. I'm not quite sure where I got an inspiration of tilting them, but I believe I've seen it somewhere at some point. It was pretty cool. And so the idea is to have have them decently spaced. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly spaced, but just something showing a little bit of breaking the monotony, if you will. All right, I think that looks good. So now that we've grouped everything together, let's go ahead and uh, put a background on here. So what we'll what we'll do, guys, is we'll just simplify things real quick. We could just um, hit Control A to select everything. And pull it over uh, but see I have an idea here's what I'll do what I'm gonna do is just take a snapshot and so that way to be a lot easier when we drop it on the t-shirt it'll be one file as opposed to however many this is here so what we'll do is make sure nothing over here is clicked on and then we'll hit control alt shift E and that takes a snapshot. So now the only thing we have to do is go up here, 
hit duplicate layer and go down to characters t-shirt there we go and alternatively you guys you could just take this and just drag it right here and then drop on there so there's several ways so now that we are in the characters t-shirt uh, document here really the only thing we have to do is take this just click on our uh, picture here hit alt and click in between your top layer and the one directly below it and there we have it now we have a couple more steps to do but we're almost done so now you just go up here to your blending mode here click on that and multiply color burn linear burn linear burn looks good dark in color so it's between multiply and linear burn I think linear burn looks good alright so we'll choose that one and so you see guys when you go in here right and by the way make sure you use the best quality t-shirt you can because since it's a mock-up people you know they'll see that and say, hey that looks good so if you could tell you look at this right here these are outstanding you know these uh, mock-ups are are really really good so you want to get the best quality one you can get so we know that on a um, t-shirt you know they're not gonna have the prints in the collar and surely not on the this little like um neck uh, piece and so we'll go down here let's see if they and there definitely wouldn't be anything right down here so the quickest way to fix that is this so we'll just go up here we'll click on our picture and then go down here where it says add layer mask and let's click on that now what this will do is make sure that it's on look down here at these little layer areas so this is white and this is black so the black brings it back and the white takes it away so let me show you so this is white right here and we'll have we'll pull up the eraser press E or you can go up here and click on eraser tool so let's click on E and then move it back right there so how I remember it is white hides black reveals so and make sure that you have this little box that we just um, made make sure you're painting on that now in order for us to get that back only thing we have to do is we can go down here we can hit this little arrow right here click that it'll bring it back for us or what we can do is hit X and X switches the modes see all right there we are now there is another way before we move on let me show you there is another way that we can remove that we'll just uh, grab our trusty pen tool hit P on your keyboard or alternatively alternatively <laughs> oh my god or alternatively you can go up here to uh, where it says pen tool click on that all right now let's see we can go around here make sure we join the points click here right click click make a selection hit OK now still over here we can just grab the eraser tool and there we 
we go. So that's all we'd have to do. And then we can go down here. And finish the job. Hit pin tool, hit P. Let's go across this right here. That looks good. Make selection, okay. Make sure that's selected. Hit E for eraser. And that is golden. Control D, deselects, and we are ready to go. Look at that, that's nice. Now I'm pretty sure you'd be the only person in the world rocking this shirt. You take this out in public, people are going to say, man, where'd you get that shirt? That would be pretty cool. That would be awesome. Okay. Now, so let's add a background to our t-shirt. And let's see. We'll click here. I don't know. This yellow kind of looks pretty cool. Let's go hit G for your paint bucket or alternatively, you can go up here to where this paint book tool and click on that. And there you go. Oh, that looks good. It actually matches with the oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, man. I might have to make me one of these. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. That is good stuff. All right, guys. So before we get out of here. Um, the, the reason why people do mock-ups is because mock-ups are a good way to basically show people your artwork or your designs or your clothing, etc. before they actually purchase them. So it's a good way to save, uh, basically to save, you know, to, no overhead cost and things of that nature. So when people do support you and they do come back and they do buy your stuff and then you can produce it after that so which is a really really good thing so that's why people make mock-ups um, now uh, pay attention when you make mock-ups pay attention uh, to the quality to the quality of your uh, of your um, garments that are being displayed because I actually this shirt I actually paid for so and I have several other different styles including hoodies etc that I actually paid for so that's why some of the quality is really really good but when you do mock-ups you just want to make sure that your quality is the best because people you know it, sometimes it turns people off if they look at your garment and they say oh that's just it looks fake so the, the realer it looks the better the better it is and the more um, opportunities you can provide for yourself in that regard and also make sure you showcase your artwork Instagram TikTok, Facebook Twitter or X um, anywhere you can place that and uh, watch people come in and support you they'll support you all right so now the only thing you have to do is save your file go up to file hit save Save as, save it as a PNG or a JPEG, and you are ready to go, my friend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.